paying attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels troll. You know, that's brilliant. You both want to come at me at once, I'll take you both down. Yeah, we're going to get into some some dumb and dumber stuff. Palaka, who? Palaka, who? What? I was immediately assaulted by him. Loser, loser, self-abuser. <laughs> Two 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 three 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 four four four. Guacamole. Heather Ray TV. Oh yeah. Guacamole. I think all the fluoride in the water is is doing its job. Douche. You're the douche. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I'm just concerned. Wait. I'm confused. What's going on? So, so I should like like I you, you understand like if 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 uh here. they're 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 sending emails. Come on, Luna. You can do better than that, man. Maybe wizards. You guys should be looking for those. Reasonable, articulo, to articulable suspicion. Picking out the type of condoms you would like to use. Picking out the tampons they decide to use. I live here! And I'm here for some psychiatric help. Yada 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 yada, fake micro news. Do this, do that, keys out! <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You're, you're the one giving me a reaction. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to provide you with those answers. I'm trying, I'm trying to walk freely and... I'm Hi and welcome back to the channel where we expose frauditors, Karens and sovereign citizens. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. You will find tons of content to enjoy. For those interested in criminology, we have a brand new YouTube channel where we go into the minds of the deeply disturbed. Please subscribe. The link will be in the description. In today's video, Aselmo tries to do a Fourth Amendment stunt where he tries to go in a courtroom without passing through security and fails miserably. Enjoy the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is Superior Court in Los Angeles. We're going to see if they respect our First Amendment. Shout out to CPR Audits. Go to his channel. Hit him up with a subscription and the like button. Leave a comment. Let them know that I sent you over. See if they respect our rights over here. Hello. How are you? Can, can you tell me what, what court, what type of court is this? Is it like a federal courthouse or just a regular courthouse? I find it so ridiculous when the frauditors try to audit a building. They have no idea what it's about. Like, why don't you do a little bit of research ahead of time? I just asked you a question. Yeah, this is a federal building. Federal? Can I help you? It's a federal building? Yes. Can you give me uh, any type of paperwork? No, we have none. Okay. So this is federal court? Yes, federal building. What it's a federal building. What do you guys provide? Uh, what services do you provide in this? I don't know. I, this isn't, the service I provide is screening. Security. Okay. All right. Can you give me a list of the services so I could know what, what they offer? No, I'm sorry. No? Now, I find that hilarious. She was trying so hard not to laugh in his face, but it's Asamo. It's really hard not to laugh at him. Isn't it a federal government? I mean, a federal building? It is, but you're not a federal employee. What? I know. So, so we need I know where. because you're the public. What about the Fourth Amendment? The Fourth Amendment? My right to privacy? This is a public building, it's a public place, it's fine, it's, fine. it's a federal building. Okay. So... Yeah, you have your right to that, but this is our protocol, so if you don't want to go through the protocol, then we can't let you in the building. Can you, can you call the supervisor so I can speak to them about it? There's because no supervisor here. Who's in charge? Our company. The company. And, and you guys, and you guys? So the company. You, ask, you guys ask everybody for their ID to come in a public building. Okay, yes. sir, you're entering a federal facility. You're Correct. To exactly. A, you're exactly. I'm not. An administrative inspection no, for no. weapons and explosives. Do you have any of those? No, but okay. I don't have to show my ID. I mean, I'm a, I'm agreeing to this already, yeah. which is a Fourth Amendment violation. You don't need my name. Why you need my name? My address, everything. You don't need that, do you? I mean, if you don't have anything to hide, it shouldn't be a problem, right? But obviously, you want a confrontation to be able to make a YouTube video, so you're gonna make a big fuss about it. Sir, so. Uh... The protocol that the Department of Homeland Security has set is for any time you enter a federal facility, we're going to ask for ID. I go, to federal, I go to federal facilities all the time. No one asks me for my ID. All over the country. All, all, federal facilities all, all over the country. Florida, 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 Chicago. So I'll give you an example, sir. 
you walk into this one, they're going to ask you for ID. Why? In any other federal courthouse, they're going to ask you for ID. If you walk over to 300 North Los Angeles, which is also a federal building, they're going to ask you Do you guys for agree with this? It's not whether we agree with it or not. Sir. Yeah, I mean, you guys are human beings, right? You live, you're American citizens, sir, so. Sir, look, I understand you're looking for I'm, I'm not. For I'm not. You're, you're the you're one giving me a reaction. For, you're I'm, for an I'm trying to. Answers, correct? You're looking for answers, and I'm trying to provide you with those answers. I'm trying. I'm trying to walk freely in a now, public you, building. Now, whether you agree with those answers or not, that's far beyond our pay scale. You guys that's have marshals here? Somebody, no, the marshals are not here. Those are at There's got to be questions. somebody that's. You, you guys are that's a private. Security. Yeah, we need we need a public employee. You guys that's are private, private company, yes, and this is a public building, so we need we need a public employee. Let me explain to you. This is how it works. We're contracted. I understand security. perfectly. I understand perfectly. Clearly, you guys are following the rules from your company. I'm trying, and to, I, and trying I, to explain I, it to you. Okay? I understand yeah. what you're doing, sir. I'm just saying, my ID is my private information. Would you give and me you your ID, your you're, state sir, ID then? Than, sir, can we, can we trade welcome. IDs at least? Sir, you're more than welcome to keep your ID. Like the security guard said, you're free to keep your ID in your pocket, but then you're not going to come into the building. So it's a little bit of give and take. You have to choose. Now, if you want to come in here, you will have to provide ID. Why? Because okay. of those are rules, sir. Sir, I'm not being suspected of a crime. You're not. So, so you're absolutely not. That's the only way you guys can request ID. No. Nope. Yeah. Not necessary. This is a public building. Sir, I, I suggest I, before, you, before you start going and doing First Amendment audits, maybe you should go learn the law. Oh really? You know, learn? Why don't you call the I don't. Police? I don't. Uh, yeah. Learn, what's the law? What is this law? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This guy thinks he knows it all, but he works for a private security company. Yes, that's all. That's the best you could do throughout your whole life. No, sir. Then why don't you go learn something See, and be something better instead of trying to instead of bri See, trying sir, to violate our private, rights? Sir, I work for this private security company. Good. That violates everybody's rights. How do you feel? No, sir. I'm yes. Not violating your rights. Yes, you are. What about the Fourth Amendment? I'm not Unreasonable you. search I'm and forcing. seizure. You ever heard of that? I'm not forcing you, sir. You are. You're actually, you're actually borderline disturbing the peace. Oh boy, every time he runs out of arguments, he always says, Oh, you're disturbing the peace. You're disturbing the peace. I said, Mo, find a better script because this one is old and tired. Here you go. I don't, need to, I don't need to go to college to know the law, sir. Everything is right here in black and white. The Constitution of the United States is right here. Would you like a copy? It looks like it seems like you you haven't read this. Sir. Do you know what the First Amendment is? Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Okay, so what's the First Amendment say? You have every right to freedom of speech. Yeah. In a public place. This is not Walmart, Target, Starbucks, or any. Um, are we in your house? Are we in your house? Nobody's stopping you. Yes, you are. You're disturbing my peace. I'm trying to enter freely without yes, being bothered. Yeah, that's that's. And 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 you're interfering. Sir, so is there anything else that can help you with today? Yes, leave me alone. Let me walk freely, or call the police, or I don't know what you want to do, but. This is a public building. There's services that you guys provide yes, here. Sir. We don't have to. We don't have to waive our Fourth Amendment. That's no, what I'm waving your Fourth Amendment. Oh my God, this guy's bro. You're bro. Did you forget about U.S. history? Do you know that once I give my ID, I'm waiving my Fourth Amendment? What? Am I speak? Am I speaking English here? Yes, you are speaking broken English right now, but your Fourth Amendment argument is totally wrong because the Fourth Amendment protects you against unreasonable searches, which this is not because you are trying to enter a secure federal building. It makes sense that you have to provide ID. Yes, you have the Constitution. Yes, it's right here. Why don't you read it? No, I have already read it a million times. There's That's what you're doing. You're, you you're, you're trampling my. This is not. A, this is not reasonable. This is not reasonable. What's so reasonable about getting my ID, my address, everything? What if a homeless person comes in and doesn't have ID? I'm sorry, we have to deny them entry. Yeah, because they don't give a damn about the homeless and they want to disrespect the people that actually finance this entire operation, sir. Sir, is there anything else we can help you with? Oh, we're going to stand right here. Okay, you can stand right over there and not block the entrance. We're not blocking anything. You see, not, not, now you're accusing, bro. We're, we're interacting. We're interacting with you. Right now. So when they can't, they will move. Right. When they come, sure. okay, okay, we'll stand right here because he he's trying he's trying to he's he's trying to frame us with something. Cause well, now when the police if the police shows up, well, you know what? I think we're just going to shut this down because I'm not into all this melodrama and you playing the victim and everything. He's like, well, well, you know, they're blocking the entrance and all these people. And they're talking about their rights. I don't know what I, I don't know what to say. I know about First Amendment audits, and and I swear I know it all. And I'm trying to impress these ladies right here. But all I decided to do throughout my whole life was become a rent a cop and trample on people's rights when they come into a public place. This is not your house. All right, you just work here. The thing that Asamo will never understand is that there's nothing wrong with being an honest man and earning an honest paycheck without harassing anyone. He deserves a thousand times more respect than you. 
disrespectful. You see, that's why, that's why Auditing America is so successful. That's why we have 123 million combined views. Yes, million. Ah, ah, this guy got the same haircut as me. There we go. How you doing? Oh, we all have the same haircut. Are you a police officer? No Fourth Amendment. There you go, sir. Oh, oh, they just want, it's, it's, they don't want, they just want to see it. You see, there's, this is, this is, oh man, there's no, there's no official, there's no official, oh, procedure. What was so, what, oh my God. What was the, what was so hard about explaining that you're not going to document anything, right? You just want to see my ID? You want to see the back of it? I'll show you the back of it. Oliveras. Oliveras, muy bonita. Oliveras, respeta la constitución, respeta nuestros derechos. Viniste a Estados Unidos por las libertades, ¿verdad? Por el buen billete que nos ganamos aquí, ¿verdad que sí? Hay que respetar los derechos de la gente. ¿Ok? You don't understand Spanish? Well, you're gonna, I'm sure you have a cousin that can translate it for you later. Yeah, guys, so obviously I don't speak Spanish, but anybody in the comments could translate that. I am very curious to see what he said to her. It's probably nonsense, but I am curious. Okay. Unbelievable, sir. Unbelievable. And the thing is, I've, I've, been, I've been extremely nice and humble, but then he wants to go, oh, I suggest you go learn the law. I suggest, I, this guy, you have, a, you have a problem with people's freedoms? Is that what it is? Because this is a, this is a public place, sir. There has to be a, the thing is, this is a federal building, so the police doesn't even have authority here, bro. They need to have like a federal um, marshal, like you said, or, you see, these people are just renter cops, bro. They don't, they have no authority to ask us for ID. Neither does anyone in this building, unless you've been suspected of a crime. Have you broken the law? Nope. nope. I haven't broken the law either. Do you guys even agree with this? Like, come on, man. You agree? How could you even agree with it? <laughs> there's no much. There's no amount of money that you can pay me, so I can violate people's uh, privacy. Now that's really ironic because that's exactly how he makes his money. He invades people's privacy and he earns a paycheck. So that was a very stupid statement. What about our privacy? This is a public building. You know how much, how much this building costs to, to, to build? Millions. Millions, right? From taxpayers, federal taxes. But then you walk in here and they treat you like shit. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> right? But you see, this guy only pays a very, 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 very small amount of federal taxes. So he doesn't care about the federal taxes of other people, right? I understand. You only pay a very, 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 very small amount of taxes. But you have no right to you have you have no right to to try to get everybody that walks in a in a public place. No, 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 this place itself. This place. Well, you see, that, that's what we're talking about. You see, you guys are the ones that are working right here, right now in front of us. If we request some information, you, su you should be like, okay, sir, I don't know, I'll, f I'll figure it out. Give me a second, I'll go get it. I mean, don't you have 123 million views on YouTube? I think you'd be able to figure out how to use Google by now. Right, but no, all you care about is taking off my shoes, my belt and my ID, right? And seeing what's in my pockets and seeing what's in my bag. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Okay, so you don't want to help me out. What's your name? She's about that. She's very, she, she, I think she understands a little bit. Maybe when she goes home tonight, she'll be like, oh, they, I think they were kind of right. We have been <laughs> violating people's rights left and right over here in, in, the, in the courthouse. This gentleman swears he's slick. I, I wouldn't have never uh, been a little bit rude to him if, if, if he wouldn't have pulled up. You need to go learn the law before yeah, you want to. I, since when do you need to learn the law to know your rights? What does... 
Now at this point, the video ends abruptly. I think they run out of nonsense to say. So anyways, guys, they got denied entrance to the inner courthouse. So this is a very good win for the good people and an L for Aselmo. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Crazy. So here's my number. Hey, call me, baby. I'm absolutely serious. I've never, ever heard anything like that in my life. Is everybody in here? Does anybody want to be filmed for this guy's uh, this press thing, whatever he's doing? Does anybody here, with a show of hands, want to be on this guy's video? Filming with watching guys having coffee. I want to see if you respect my rights to record in public. You make no sense right now. How? Because there's no story here. Gods can't be arrested, guys. Listen, listen. Oh my god. Sir, if you touch me with that, if you touch me with that, bro. Um, my nationality is Mormon. Come get it. Call the cops. Call Come the cops. Can you call the cops? Come get it. Can you call the cops? I'm asking. It's right here. Come get it. Now ask him a bunch of Articulate it. Articulate it. Articulate it. Articulate it. Articulate it. Articulate. You have a you have a, a coffee? You're coming with me. What? You do not get away with calling me an ass. Oh, man, I don't know how to read, bro. I don't know how to read. I don't care. Man. I thought y'all was going to shoot me down. So I said, my wife, yo, go open the door real quick. Why the whisk? It's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm uh, actually the reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard. All right. Y'all have a good day. I live here!